Alrighty. Two pints of dragon's fire coming right up. And what can I get for the pretty little thing down here? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Well, whether you like being called pretty or not doesn't matter to me, because I speak in facts. No, well, before I'm a tavern keeper, I'm an honest man, you know. <laughs> now, what can I do you for? Uh-huh. Hmm. Solid choice. Yep. Sounds great. I'll have that right to you as soon as I get these fine Silver Cross gentlemen their drinks. Here you go, boys. Make good decisions. <laughs> and here you are, just as requested. Hope it's to your liking. Hmm. You're not a usual around here, are you? <laughs> well, I think I remember a face like that. You can say I'm intimately familiar with most of the common folk down here in the outer ring of Dwaydan. Yeah, at least the ones who frequent my little corner of paradise here. Hmm. If that's the case, then pleasure to meet ya. Name's Blythe Gunrick, and I run this here little establishment. <laughs> well met. So, what brings you to Dwaydon? You an adventurer? Looking for a guild and some exciting missions? And maybe a new wizard student here to study the schools of magic at the Harrow Hall Academy. Or, even just a wandering soul looking for nothing in particular but a good time. I might be able to help with that last one. <laughs> ah. Oh, whatever your reasons are, or walks of life, all are welcome here in the Dark Duchess Tavern. Uh, now, what's your name, if I may be so bold? Ah, lovely, isn't it? Huh. That's what I'll call you. Lovely. It fits. Plus, I give nicknames to all my favorite customers who come to this place. Makes them feel at home. And keeps them coming back to give me their coin. <laughs> but away from business, I hope you're enjoying yourself in our little refreshments. Well, if there's anything else I can do for you, you know whose name to shout, lovely. Hmm? Yeah, Gunrick. Oh, no, no. The old human man statue outside who started this tavern? That was my father. Fendel Gunrick. When he passed, he left this to me. And I've been running this joint ever since. Yeah. My father was a human man, and my mother was a high elf. So I guess that explains the knife ears of Findle Gunrick's only illegitimate son. Yeah, mother was a pompous bureaucrat in the upper ring who only had time for one night with a rough and tumble tavern owner. And now, many years later, I'm here keeping this place in check. It was the... Only home I've ever had. And the only one I ever needed. People here have known me since I was nothing but Findle's knife-eared little brat who worked as a server in this old man's place. And these people? The lower ring? This is my family now. And this building is our house. Where we live, laugh, love, cry, and... Drink until we can't tell the difference between a bar winch and the statue of an owlbear out front. <laughs> oh, such is the nightly revelry of the Dark Duchess. Hmm. Stick around for the night and you might just see, lovely. <laughs> well, now that we've been acquainted, don't be a stranger. Also, if you... Do plan on sticking around Dwaydon. 
You're always welcome to stay in the rooms we have above the tavern. Not much for a lower ring in room, but the Dark Duchess is as accommodating as they come here. I'll make sure that your every need is met, and if you ever need for something, you always got a pal downstairs. Plus, besides the free breakfast, if you decide to unpack here, I may be so inclined to throw in a little tour of our city. All the good spots, the bad spots, the good bad spots. <laughs> I can get you anywhere and everywhere, as long as it's in the lower ring. <laughs> the upper ring is for the rich and the nobility. Well, at least anyone who's able to pay the price of living up there. It's a beautiful place, but it's also a pricey place. Such is the way of the world, huh? All the guards you don't see down here are too busy making sure that the highborn are better defended. From what exactly? I couldn't tell you. Huh? Oh well, yeah. My mother is still up there somewhere. Yet I still can't go up there. Funny how that works out, isn't it? Hmm. <clears throat> Plus. I've actually never met her. And good riddance, too. I've lived down here, working for everything I own, while she's probably up there in a white silk robe waiting on a bubble bath, not giving a flying crap about her tavern-keeping half-elf son. This? This is my real home and family. Hmm. <laughs> and now you're here. So, as long as you choose to stay... Consider yourself a part of the family, lovely. And if that is a yes, I can get the best room we have drawn up and ready for you. Won't be too much of an issue when the evening ends and patrons begin to start stumbling out. All I'll have to do is kick out a few Silver Cross Guild's drunks and I can get a room with all the comforts you need taken care of. What do you say? <laughs> Sounds great. And, if you ever need anything at all, during your evening stay, don't hesitate to knock on my door. I'm right downstairs. Good day to you, lovely. Hmm. <laughs> 